In my eyes, WWE Survivor Series should not be WWE bragging rights. I'm excited about a couple of champion versus champions matches. I like the Brock Lesnar AJ Styles part two. I think that's going to be a great match and people are looking forward to it. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey have elevated their games over the past couple of weeks on the mic to hype their feud. But everything else is like, what's the point of Team Raw versus Team SmackDown? It's a bragging rights. WWE does not need bragging rights between brands the one time a year. If I'm WWE, this is what I'd do. I would do a champion versus champion for the women. I would do potentially a mid-card champion versus champion. But Brock Lesnar has to put feuds for him on hold for a match with AJ Styles. And AJ Styles has to put another feud for him on hold. Well, whether it be Daniel Bryan, whether it be the next coming uh, SmackDown superstar to face him, you know, there's a lot of options that they could. And I think The Miz is probably the next best choice for a guy like AJ Styles. But Survivor Series doesn't have any meaning because whenever Raw wins or whenever SmackDown wins... What do they win? They don't win anything. They say, hey, we had, we're the more superior brand. That's not a thing anymore. If it was a thing, then it would be competing brands each week or each month. But once a year doesn't do anything for me. So in my eyes, WWE has a big missed opportunity not broadcasting Brock Lesnar's next potential WWE Universal Championship match, uh, a feud, before maybe heading off to UFC and facing Daniel Cormier. AJ Styles has to put his title on hold. You, know, you look at the WWE roster right now, and there's some dream matches, right? Shinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rollins, a match that uh, maybe not many people would have thought would have happened a few years ago before Nakamura came to WWE. Um, but the styles, the clashing, the offense, the speed, the submission tactics from both guys, they have a great opportunity to steal the show. That's a great match. That's a great idea. But to have every championship match or every championship match be on hold except for the cruiserweight championship, terrible idea. There's no meaning, there's no real relevance or importance whenever no other title is being defended except for Buddy Murphy's cruiserweight championship. So in my eyes, if I was WWE, a few grudge matches Raw and SmackDown, what happens? What does the winner get? Nobody wants a World Cup trophy. Nobody cares about bragging rights. How about putting the five-on-five -five match between Raw and SmackDown and the winner gets to pick a superstar from Raw or from SmackDown to come to their respective brand? Make it interesting. Make it important. And make WWE shuffle up just a little bit the rosters more than once a year because you're looking at talented guys on each roster that has been completely misused and basically just thrown to the garbage garbage. Guys like Bobby Roode who deserves better. Guys like the club who deserve better. We finally saw the Usos back after a few months. So in my eyes, WWE Survivor Series should have been a platform for champions to be spotlighted and feuds to mean something between Raw and SmackDown, not champion versus champion almost on every single match. More chair shot reality coming here. Stick around.